We got enough damn lanterns. Oh, loco Friday. Oh, hey, y'all. Welcome back. Four Loco Friday. That's right. Four Loco Friday. Today is October the 18th. Four Loco Friday. 14% <laughs> alcohol, guys. Four Loco Sour. Blue Raz. Now, I've actually tried one of these. And, uh... I'll have to say it contains alcohol, but it doesn't have the best flavor of all. <laughs> if y'all have tried a Four loco on a Friday, drop me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up, and uh, if you like it, like it. If you don't, well, don't get sour on me, especially Blue Rass. Let's open it up. Let's see what she does. Hey, Ricky, look. Mmm. Man, that smells so good. But I remember the taste. <laughs> this is not my favorite one, guys. But it's the only one I got left. I had a, a couple other flavors. And, well, I done, I done got into them. I hope y'all like my last Four Loco Friday video. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I'll put that link at the end of this video so you can check it out. Everybody liked the bloopers at the end. It was the most fun part, I guess. Uh, a lot of people like the storytelling and the commentary, but bottoms up. Cheers, y'all. You know, you have to have label out for freshness. And if I had my right hand like I normally drink, it's the back side. So, poor loco needs to pay attention. Fully evolved people use right hands when they drink. And they need to have the lid on the other side so that I can have label out for freshness. But I have to shoot, I have to drink left handed today. That's alright. I gotta switch it up, right? Mm. Ah. Some of y'all say you've had these. A lot of you say you haven't. And on the last comment, some of you said, I'm gonna try one, and some of you said, they still make them? I'm like, yeah, they still make them, man. Come on. Kids still go to college, so uh, they're going to make them, right? Oh, this is a big college drink. But I love it. Blue camo, you know. They, I, it's, it's awesome, man. If you ever tried one, enjoy you one. Um, I'm going to try to do all the flavors on here I can find. And uh, This is the second one. The first one was the... Uh, Oh, I don't know. Just check the link out at the end of the video. I can't remember. I think it was sour grape or something like that. This is blue rass. Mm. By the end of the show, I'll probably have a blue tongue and blue teeth. What I want to talk to y'all about today on this commentary, I'm going to try to make it a little quicker than I did last time. Now, I'm not going to finish all this. That's not the thing to try to finish this within the video. I'm not in B wire three one. I'm not mad. I can't hammer. I can't hammer these fourteen percent. I'll sip on them. I'll get them done eventually. <laughs> but uh, I'm not in no big hurry about that. Deer hunting was my last commentary. Talking about some of my hunts. I went deer hunting one day. Okay, two or three weeks ago. Set up my tree. Had deer come up on me. Didn't get a shot at them. Come home. I went to empty out. In my target back here, my crossbow, I got a Barnett recruit, most of y'all know, right? Shoots about 300 foot a second. This is my Barnett recruit that I shot so many deer with. This one, the one that has a broken string. You see that? This thing, when it popped, it sounded like a 22 going off. When I come home to empty it out, pow, it went. Well, I've already got some frayed spots. I don't know if y'all can see them or not, but right over here, 
and this limb is cracked. I mean, you can see it. Look, I mean, it's cracked. So this is just going to be a part. It would cost me like sixty dollars to get new limbs, another fifty, sixty dollars, you know, to get a new string. And then I got to get somebody to put it on because I don't know how to do it. Uh, I didn't get but two twenty-five for the whole thing. So I'm looking at it like this. I got a Picatinny rail. I've got another scope if I need one. I've still got my, you know, my vibrators, <laughs> vibration uh, retentures. I mean, there's there's a lot of good stuff on this. Uh, so I'm just going to use this for a parts machine, if you will. But it's lasted me since 20, I think, 16. So this has been around for three years. I've shot a, quite a few deer with that. But I bought my son one, just like it. A brand new compound recruit. And this is it. Now, if you see, his is a little bit different. They come out pretty easy. You can twist them and pull them right out. They're silencers or dampeners or, or rubbers, whatever you want to call them. They kind of make it quiet, and hopefully they'll save the, save the limbs. They're limb savers, guys. They take some of the vibration away so it doesn't mess up the limbs. This is my camera mount. I got my camera on charge in the house. My Garmin Pro Elite, I have it right here so it catches all the action. All I got to do is reach up here and turn it on, take it off safety. You know, I got my side on, make sure my fingers are below the thumb, you know, the guards, finger guards. Put my dot on it, pow. This one actually has three dots. The, the first dot, the top dot, I shoot if it's within 10, 15 yards. The second one's within 20, 25 yards. The other one's 30 or 40 yards. I don't think I'll ever get to use it, not where I hunt. It's really thick. But this is what I use, the Barnett Recruit. This actually has a place where you can put a, if you're, you're dis disabled and you can't use the cock to pull it back, the cocking rope, you can actually use a, a, a crank and it pulls it back. And then you can unwind it, take the crank off or just fold it down out of the way. These things are pretty nice. Barnett does have that as an option. Um, this broke on my other one. But I've got another one here. It looks like it needs to be tightened up. But uh, this holds my my cross bolts, my quiver. So I really like this crossbow. And I wouldn't mind, you know, you can't hardly find them brand new no more. And I, I wouldn't mind having another one, uh, a different type. And I've already looked at some for around $189, $90. Brand new, 375 foot a second. So a little bit faster than this one. Don't know that that's going to help any because any time I've ever shot a deer, except for one, every deer I've shot, crossbow goes right through it. 20 inch crossbow right through the deer. It don't go 15, 20 yards. Most it's ever went was 30 yards. And it's down because it's got, I use expanding broadheads because, you know, they tuck, the blades tuck in. And when they hit, they expand. That's the end of the deer. It's very humane kill. I don't want to hurt one. I want to, I'm going to shoot it. I want to kill it. I don't want it to be hurting and be tracked down by coyotes and, you know, just be limping around. And I, that ain't right. I want. I want to. So I practice out back to make sure I make a good shot. So, because, and if I can't make a shot like the last two times I've seen deer and I couldn't get a good shot on them, I'm not going to take that shot. And I've done done it twice. I'm not going to take it. Uh, if I can't shoot it and shoot it and know I'm going to kill it, I don't want to hurt it. I definitely don't want to get in this bowels. You don't want to try to open up a deer if you've gotten its bowels. Oh, I've done it before. Whew. It wasn't, it's not no good. But back to the blue ras. Four loco sour. On a Friday, baby. I'm going to be gone. By the time y'all watch this video, I will be, which I got people here going to watch the place but I'm going to be in Bryson City North Carolina so if y'all can come up Saturday this Saturday the 19th October the 19th come up there at um, Bryson City to the Paul's convention it's uh, all it is is we're um, donating all the money when we come in we pay ten dollars we're there all day long the moonshiner is going to be there and all of its donations for the Humane Society, for the Pauls in uh, Bryson City. 
they got a lot of uh, animals up there need help, uh, need adoption, and uh, so we're gonna go up and all of us gonna have a good time. All the moonshiners are coming. They're not charging nothing as far as for them to be there. They're doing it out of the goodness of their heart and it's bringing the crowds. They got some great bands that are gonna be there. There's gonna be bikers there. I think Crazy Chuck's gonna be there. Donnie Benton and Teresa's gonna be there. Uh, Jerry Benson's gonna be there. Mark Rogers is gonna be there. Patty from uh, Louisiana, she's gonna be there. Uh, JB Rager's probably gonna be there. Mark and Digger, I don't know. They may or may not be there. So just come on out to Bryson City. It's a Big Bear campground. That's where it's gonna be. At the Big Bear campground. And at the end of the night, there's gonna be a uh, bonfire. It's gonna, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, maybe a little moonshine running around, who knows? Come on out, drink you a few beers. You gotta be 21 to drink. And uh, come on out and have a good time. And uh, you never know, you might see old Calvin's Corner send me to there. Cause I'm planning on being there. And I hope I see you there too. Mm. Oh man. I don't know if I'll get the bloopers in this time. Sometimes I just don't feel it. Y'all get on back over here. Where happiness is always, always just around the corner. Especially on a Four Loco Friday. Four Loco Friday, baby. Get you some. <laughs>